The name Dormammu is enough to cause terror in the minds of whoever has heard it. Known across the multiverse as one of the most powerful and evil beings, Dormammu is a force to be reckoned with and has dedicated his mission of consuming countless worlds and fusing them all into the dark dimension. Created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko, he first appeared in Strange Tales 126 in the year 1964 and since then has been considered one of the most dangerous villains to exist in the Marvel Universe. But what makes Dormammu so dangerous? Well, let's find out. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. So thank you, and let's begin. <laughs> Brief History of Dormammu Dormammu from the very beginning was labeled as one of the most powerful beings in the Marvel Universe. He is one of the main antagonists of the comics, appearing frequently in the Doctor Strange comics as his arch nemesis. He is an extra dimensional villain belonging to the Dark Dimension and seeks to conquer the world with his immense power. He frequently clashes with Doctor Strange, who is the main threat and obstacle for Dormammu on his conquest, though even his tremendous powers have yet to defeat Doctor Strange, mostly due to his arrogance. Time. What was Dormammu like and why did he keep killing Doctor Strange? Dormammu is literally the personification of chaos and destruction. His malevolence knows no bounds as he wants to fulfill his desires of expanding the dark dimension and conquering every dimension and the worlds in it. He wants to merge all the dimensions into the dark dimension and leaves no stone unturned to fulfill his mission. He decided to lend his power to Cassilius and his followers known as the Zealots so they could help him take over the world and destroy it. When Dormammu comes to Earth after Cassilius destroys two of the Sanctums, Doctor Strange goes into the Dark Dimension to confront the Dark Being. Dormammu takes great delight in killing Doctor Strange, as he can do so quite quickly and easily. But, to his utter surprise, Doctor Strange arrives again in a similar fashion, repeating, Dormammu, I have come to bargain. Dormammu is perplexed as he keeps killing Doctor Strange and keeps reappearing, even though now Dormammu has tried to kill him in various fashions. Doctor Strange finally reveals how he had trapped Dormammu in a time loop and it would only be broken if he agreed to back back off from Earth and never come back again, and it did not matter how many times he killed Doctor Strange, the loop would never be broken. You and me, trapped in this moment, endlessly. Then you will spend eternity dying. Dormammu in the Doctor Strange movie Considerably the most iconic Dormammu portrayal in media, the extra-dimensional being served as the main antagonist and mastermind in the Doctor Strange movie released in 2016. Cassilius, an evil wizard who strays away from the teachings of the Ancient One, steals some pages from the book of Cagliostro and he uses them to get in touch with Dormammu, who then lends Cassilius and his zealots power from the Dark Dimension to take control over Earth and destroy it to merge into the Dark Dimension. Once the New York and London Sanctums are destroyed, Cassilius and the Zealots turn to the last Sanctum in Hong Kong. Doctor Strange arrives and sees that the Sanctum is being destroyed and Wong is dead as the Dark Dimension begins to engulf Earth. Doctor Strange uses the Eye of Agamotto and turns back to save Wong and flies into the Dark Dimension to confront Dormammu. Dormammu then gets trapped in the time loop as mentioned earlier and finally accepts Strange's proposition and leaves Earth permanently, taking Cassilius and his zealots with him into the Dark Dimension to suffer for eternity. Dormammu was voiced by none other than Benedict Cumberbatch himself. He suggested he take up the role of the director, thus portraying Dormammu to be a sort of darker, malevolent reflection of Doctor Strange. Benedict's voice was blended in with an uncredited British actor's voice to create the effect of Dormammu's deep voice. Actor Tony Todd had also been asked to record the voice over for Dormammu alternatively, but the production chose Cumberbatch for it ultimately. Dormammu also appeared in the 2007 animated movie Doctor Strange The Sorcerer Supreme. It had a similar storyline to the 2016 movie with some variations. There is also no Cassilius and a 
robots, but instead, Baron Mordu is Dormanu's puppet on Earth that he uses to gain access to the realm and unleash its horrors. In the animated movie, instead of trapping Dormanu in a time loop, Doctor Strange actually absorbs the magic that the demon blasts at him, and since Dormanu himself was purely made of magic, Strange ends up absorbing him and the villain vanishes. It was unexpected, but it does work out quite well. Jonathan Adams lent his voice to Dormanu in the movie. Dormammu! Exploring his first comic book appearance. Dormammu makes his first appearance in the Stranger Tales number 126 issue as the dread Dormammu, an alien being from the Dark Realm that threatens to arrive on Earth, jeopardizing mankind's safety and well-being. The Ancient One calls upon Doctor Strange to stop Dormammu from ever stepping foot onto Earth. The Ancient One describes Dormammu as someone who is unlike any other being on this planet. Even the Ancient One, at the peak of his power, was unable to defeat Dormammu. It can easily be noted that Dormammu in the comic books is much more powerful than what we have seen in the movies. Doctor Strange is then dispatched to the Dark Realm to stop Dormammu, but Dormammu watches through a mist as Doctor Strange makes his way to his enemy, laughing at the fact that the Ancient One was so scared that he dare not come himself and sent a mere disciple to fight Dormammu. Dormammu's minions question whether this human is more powerful than what he thinks, which enrages Dormammu as he bellows on how they dare question him and punishes his minions by imprisoning them. Meanwhile, Doctor Strange fights and defeats many aliens and beings of the Dark Realm to reach Dormammu. Dormammu is enraged by the fact that all his minions are defeated by a mere earthling. He finally decides to face the sorcerer himself. The two adversaries finally meet as Dormammu mocks Strange and says that he can't be bothered by a mere messenger and demands for the Ancient One to arrive and battle with him. Strange then challenges Dormammu that to get to the Ancient One, he will have to go through him. Dormammu in the comics not only differs in appearance from the one that we have seen in the movie, but also gives off a more violent and malevolent aura. This, in addition to the multiple warnings Strange receives from various characters throughout, is easily enough to gather that the dread Dormammu of the comics is undeniably more powerful than what we have been shown in the movie. Your world is now my world. Take all. Is Dormammu going to make a return? Over the course of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, many exceptionally powerful and cunning villains have been introduced that have had a huge impact on the audience as well as made the movies a delight to watch. Dormammu may not have been shown in Doctor Strange 2016 for more than a few minutes, but he certainly left an impression. Dormammu has to be one of the most powerful villains that the MCU has introduced so far. It is safe to say that the outworldly being is a villain that is going to be quite a handful to deal with. The only thing that has stopped him from invading Earth again is his deal with Doctor Strange. So far, he has honored the deal, but what's to stop him from going back on his word? He is a villain after all. If Dormammu can learn to grasp the concept of time, which does not exist in the Dark Dimension, he could easily defeat Strange, as he didn't even have to bat an eyelid when he was killing Strange over and over again in mere seconds. Taking the comics into consideration, Dormammu and Strange made a similar deal, although it had nothing to do with time, and Dormammu did try to break the pact by sending Mordu to kill Strange and take over the Earth. So he could very easily return to the MCU in a similar fashion, bringing chaos with him. With the Time Stone being destroyed in the Prime Earth by Thanos, the only thing that was stopping Dormammu is now long gone, so there is nothing Doctor Strange can do if Dormammu was to try and consume Earth again. With Phase 4 of the MCU being underway and dealing with the workings of the multiverse, it is a very big possibility that Dormammu might make a comeback, given that he is a threat to the multiverse. All we can do is pray and wait for it to happen. Live. But you will suffer. Pain's an old friend. What makes Dormammu almost indestructible? As we all know, Dormammu is an extra-dimensional being with almost unlimited power. 
He is the absolute ruler of the Dark Dimension with complete control over the magic of the realm and its dimensions and even the ability to lend his power to other beings to do his bidding. He was able to use this very power of the dimension as a weapon while killing Doctor Strange over and over again when Strange trapped him within a time loop. He lent his power to Cassilius and then to the Zealots to do his bidding and then after his pact with Doctor Strange, turned them into decayed beings and sucked them into the Dark Dimension to suffer forever. He possesses superhuman strength because of his dimensional abilities. He also is a timeless and immortal entity as the Ancient One described him to be a being who existed before time itself. He also possesses the power of telekinesis which he used to kill Doctor Strange in the Dark Dimension. Other than his magical abilities, Dormammu is a mastermind and he was able to manipulate Cassilius and his followers very easily into following his orders to destroy sanctums and take over Earth all under the pretense of everlasting peace. Dormammu may only have been shown in the MCU for a couple of minutes, but his power and ruthlessness left fans at the edge of their seats and in anticipation of the villain's return. Everyone was left breathtaking by how easily he was able to kill Doctor Strange, and had it not been for the Time Stone, Dormammu would have been the ultimate villain and enemy any MCU hero would have ever faced. With this, his return is highly anticipated by fans across the world. This evil, outworldly being is manipulative, powerful, menacing, and everything a true villain can be. And we can all hope that he makes his return soon, because that would definitely be something worthwhile for the fans. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. And in the meantime, have a good one, be safe, and thank you everyone.